I'm sorry. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if it's possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white, Muslim. We all want to help you one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate, we despise one another. In this world, there is room for everyone. The good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives us abandons has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, Life can be violent, and all can be lost. The airplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The, the very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in man, cries out for the universal brotherhood, for the unit of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that's now upon us is by the passing of a greed the bitterness of a man who fears the way of human progress. The hate of a man will pass. And dictators, they die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers. Soldiers. Don't give yourself to brutes. Men who despise you, who slave you, who regiment your life, tell you what to do, what to think, what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like a cattle, use you like a cattle fodder. Don't give yourself to this unnatural man. Don't do it. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Lucas, it's written that the kingdom of God is within a man. Not in one man, not in a group of men, but in all men, and all men and all women. And you, you the people have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of the democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us Fight for a new world, a decent world, that you give men a chance to work, that you give youth a future, and old men and women security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. 
They do not fulfill their promise. They never will. Dictators, they free themselves, but they enslave the people. Let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with intolerance, with hate. Let us fight for a new world, a world where science and progress will lead to all men and women happiness, soldiers, and the enemy of democracy. Let us all unite! <laughs>